Hey everyone, welcome back to EU4 Lex Talionis 2 as the Commonwealth. We were still waiting for that big war to be finally declared, but it's probably not gonna happen. Um, but yeah, instead, I think I'm just gonna get some more mercantilism. We have enough points uh, saved up. Um, soon we're gonna be done with these guys. Lose prestige, I guess. So over our re re relation uh, at the moment, we have alliance with Utrecht, which we probably should break. Uh, just not while we're at war. Because they're not as important. I'd rather keep that personal union with Bohemia. Because we will eventually be able to annex them. And that's going to be nice. Yeah, you guys are going to go home. We can uh, unfold that thing again. Same with this one. No threats over here. That's good. Lübeck has been sieged as well. So you can go over here. Cool. So yeah, our, that was our participation in this war. I don't really want to do much more. Actually, I do. Kill this army. Go to loot back. Kill the army of 24,000 dudes. And able to convert, I think, Crimea, was it? I don't know where he's going, but... I'm going home, as I said. I did my duty in this war. Now my vassals can continuously roam around, but I'm done for, for now. Done for now. Actually, they still have a big of an army. I'm surprised. Perhaps I'm not done yet. All right, I guess I'm not done then. Who are we fighting? All right, let's get Würzburg then and Trier. Just because, yeah, I mean, you know, siege these guys, make them pay for everything. We do currently control some nice trade provinces here, um, so that's actually going to increase our income while we're at war. I, I don't mind that. We've actually built the ship, cool. Very nice. Some Protestant zealots, it says. Okay, we've built that one amazing building over here that makes it... Harder to uh, track this. Cool. Been at oh, we have attacked. We're sick. No. That would suck if we would die now. Who's our heir, by the way? We do have enough people. And uh, my heir finished his education. Um, he was. I guess he was successful. Stefan. Um, he's a four two three, but he's ill. Stuff. And he's actually better. No, he's actually weaker as our current king. Only by one point. But I guess it's fine. Alright, so we're gonna siege these guys quick. He wants to resiege his capital with 5,000 men. That's probably not gonna happen. I don't know. Seems unlikely. My general has died. I think that was the one weak guy we had. We still have the High Constable, we still have the 100 uh, Tradition General. How's our tradition anyways? Only 33, even though we've been actually at war the entire time. That's amazing. And so what are you going for anyways? What is it you want? You want that province. Okay, you have one core and that's what you want. Alright, well I guess you don't need the rest then. Alright, so we've sieged that. Um... Yeah, let's siege fucking Midgilland. Because, I mean, while I'm at it, I guess. I'm gonna make this quick. Although, I don't. I think I do want to break the alliance, though. With, uh. Okay, but this guy's gonna send home. I do want to break the alliance because Utesh is not that useful. They're not weak. But. Kill that army, please. I'm gonna have to fight it later on, anyway, so. Might as well kill it now while we can. Um, they're not weak, but they're not really powerful either, so... I don't know. Oh, this is... Oh, we've pieced them out. Okay, right. We've taken money, I guess. Not me personally, but somebody did. Alright, siege that province. Can we please break the alliance then? Mm, hate being over the limit. Although we are obviously annexing uh, Muscovy. It's going slow. Um... 
still hasn't started coring either one of these two. I hope- Oh, shit! Alright, what's this? Uh, Mantua? Nope. Um, okay, so that was the piece. So, let's go home. Problem about this is... Yeah, look at this. So, Hansa has been weakened. That's good for them. Or good for us, actually. Um, problem is now, look at this. So many, uh, Golden Horde Separatists. Alright, we'll have to deal with them. Sorry, Muscovy, I was not paying attention. Although, they must have just spawned. I think. Zacassia is also trying to help. They can't really help that much, but still. A glorious personal union has been formed. Who was it? Mm, I don't know. Navara leads a personal union. Perhaps that was them. I do not know. Do we have any claims? Let's check out our statistics. We can pick a career. We're going to make him a... Um, what does he lack? Diplomatic. What do we want? We probably want him a mil yeah, serve in the army. Uh, he wants in administration. Alright, fine. Uh, ruler and dynasty. So, you have three unmarried sons and one unmarried daughter. Okay. Um, we have a weak claim on Muscovy. That's all. Well, I don't care about Muscovy because... Well, they're my vassals already, so I don't need a personal unit over my vassal. Okay, my second son's available for marriage now. It's just, I don't want to marry anyone. You see? Alright, kill kill these 11,000s. Uh, hire him as advisor, gain diplo power, gain a dude, or lose prestige. I'll guess we'll do that then. So our truce just expire. Thank you for telling me. Once, a, one, once, uh, one, 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 all, well, one at a time. Damn it! <laughs> what the fuck. Sometimes I feel like a retard. I know. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, let's break the late, um, alliance with Utrecht because it's not really benefiting us too much, to be quite honest. Um, we don't really need anyone at this point. Oh, look at Muscovy. Oh, and he has... Oh, shit. Orthodox Zellers again. Fucking hell. Peasants. Oh, I don't care about peasants. Ugh. Well, that... These guys are a bummer. Um, these guys are a real bummer because... Yeah, they're just annoying. Should could be doing something about them. Muscovy is just such in such sorry state. They're oh my god, and they're gonna get bankrupt soon. That's why they have never points to do anything. Man, how can you be such a shitty country? Seriously, bro. Um, yeah, they're taking over every fucking Catholic province already. It's not gonna help them. Why can you not walk directly from Ryazan to Moscow? I don't get that. It's just fucking peasants, you know? I'm, you see how quickly they die. But it's still annoying. Uh, yeah, fine. Get revolt risk, it's fine. And yeah, he's not even paying for his forts, which is why they immediately take them over. He should just get rid of them then. Revolt? Can you please go fucking home? Ah, uh, piece of shit. Thanks for taking attrition for ages. Done yet? Nope. Alright, so no longer ill. So Cassia is only doing his own stuff, nothing else. Let's take over Novgorod. Right when I move my up, sometimes this timing in this game is really 
I had my army over here the entire time, able to help out my ally. Or my vassal. And as th the moment I move it, shit goes down. It's like, does it have to be this way, seriously? Lorraine. I do not care about Lorraine. Justify my war. So hopefully at least the orthodox dude will kind of go down here. Because otherwise he's completely useless. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to commit some more men here. Because it seems like my vassal does not have an army for his own. Sadly. Yeah, and they, they, they always take the uh, fucking fort so quickly. Please go down here. Not in my territory, of course. I don't think he's gonna do that. Nope. He's going over here. I guess then we'll have to stop him. Alright, Ustiuk. He's going to Ustiuk. Hey, wait, what? Oh, he's going up there. Fuck. Yeah, he's just going to convert more provinces that are already Catholic, and that is a problem. I have to stop that guy. He's going to convert one more, unfortunately, but I'm not going to be there fast enough. It, it's just such a huge area. And without Muscovy having an own army, they're basically just useless. If I could have that, at least I, w I just don't, I wouldn't have the same problem they, as they have. You know, I wouldn't have as many rebels, and I would have to deal with less. So having Muscovy as a vassal was probably the worst decision I've ever I've ever had. I don't even know why I did that. I, I think why I, no, I, I know why because I forgot and watch a in, in in what a terrible situation I've put them in before. Um, so yeah, I totally forgot about that. All right, split everyone up and siege it quick. So we're gonna send this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Now you gonna go, Vladimir? I think we just have to have my army in his lands to pacify his provinces. His revolt risk is just so high. Yeah, poor guy. Well, he's constantly overextended. The Netherlands had to release somebody. Poor him. I, I, I like to see a strong Netherlands, to be honest. Kind of something cool. That doesn't usually happen. That's why I enjoy it. Yeah, so he's immediately using all of his dudes. So he he is able to convert, just uh, only the Catholic provinces, unfortunately. That's a fort, but he or at least has a core on it. He's making this a core now. Okay, all right. Well, that's good. He's starting to uh, core some more stuff. Novgorod will be next, and then perhaps we can uh, declare war on Novgorod again. Right, you go there. Yeah, we're gonna get our troops together. Japan and Qing. Oh, I can obviously see all of Asia. Interesting. So let's have a look over here. Ming completely fell apart. Ayutthaya looks very powerful. We have Bermanis, Maba. Okay, they all actually have less. They have. I mean, except for this, which doesn't look too gory. Actually, it just looks you know diversified. But the borders don't look that horrendous. Taibat looks strong. Yarkand. They actually have very nice borders, everyone over here. I do enjoy that, actually. It does look much better. Alright. Let's continue. And once we have Muscovy, obviously, it's gonna look much better as well. Get these guys together. Where's the next Rebel Uprising gonna start? Um... Your progress is in Varmia again. You're right. Let's get the 20,000 men to suppress you. Good. And you go over. It's being Georgia supported by Bermanis. Interesting. Kara Koinlu is probably going to fight Bermanis. Ally to Mamluks and Tabaristan. 
I like the, I like the fact that the Mamluks are still around. It's just somehow cool. And look at the Serbian separatists. They're both going nuts in Hungary as well as the Ottomans. It's very cool. I like that. I'm gonna have to uh, declare one of them very soon. Can I start the religious wars myself? Can I declare war on Saxony? I just want you guys to have a big war, really. That's all. No, Austria will... Yeah, right. Well, that's stupid then. Austria will protect them, even though they're the leader of the Protestant League. That's amazing. Austria really takes his uh, emperorship seriously. We're almost at full manpower again. Very nice. We can get new technology, so let's get that one. As quickly as possible. I guess we also want to get the uh, trade idea. Come back from Bohemia, we don't need it. Lose the belief, fucking ducats. Lose the money. Because that's what I have most of at the moment. Um, and I guess you guys will stay here. Moravia has Protestant Zealots. I hope you can deal with them. You have 7,000 men and a good general. I think we're gonna keep... Yeah, we're gonna pacify some of these provinces here. I'm just gonna stay in my vassal's lands for a while. Muscovy. Yeah, he has no army. Muscovy has no army. And Cardinal Minister, of course, we'll take that. Don't really need it. We still have a chance of becoming... Yeah. Only 6% though. I think this is a stupid mission. <laughs> I've had this mission for so long. Let's cancel that. Let's get a new one. Let's get a better one. Someone that uh, one mission actually helps me. We have so many marriages possible. For, yeah, my heir. Muscovy. Mantua, Sweden, Portugal. Let's go Muscovy then. Alright, they're happy about it. Marry my vassal. Just so I don't have too many relations. But yeah, we're doing very good on tack, I have to say. I'm, I'm happy about this. Because that new ships... Well, it's probably something we have to do, right? Get new ships. Alright. I guess so. And colonial range, uh, range increase. And Flanders has joined the Republic. Which is so funny. Netherlands had to release them. And now they just joined back in. Cool for them. Utrecht, you should definitely join. Okay. Norway's in a pa personal union again. Oh, these guys are very unstable. Though I guess they all have the same... Uh, dynasty. I think that's... that's the the, 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 the case, the reason. 9,000 men against 7,000 heretics. Acro attack across a river into hills, wooded hills, but you've been able to defeat them nonetheless. Now, what's with this? Bulgarian nobles, are we ever going to take care of them? It doesn't look like it. Are you telling me I have to do this again? Fine. I go back to Basarabi then. I only destroy them. I'm not gonna siege it down. So we have the chance to uh, go to war with the Ottomans again. And I think I will actually do that. Actually, well, just said we have the truce. No longer. Apparently that was a lie. But I think I definitely want to do this because they're having some huge Serbian separatist rebel problems at the moment that I would be very interested in, in seeing continue. Yeah. Naples declared a war on the Papal State again. That's very stupid of you. So I guess what I will do is send this guy to Constantinople. After I've sieged down. Oh, why, might as well siege it down. Um, we don't need this in the north, so send this guy down as well. This guy is to uh, just 
protect Muscovy, I guess. Pope might not like me. Let's improve relation with him. We could actually offer an alliance to the Pope, but I don't want that. So yeah, we're going to actually uh, end this episode here, but prepare for a new war against the Ottomans. Simply because I can. Still waiting for that huge war, but I guess it's probably... You know what? I think it's just probably never going to happen. Even with this huge coalition or league, I just don't think they're going to do it. They just they feel too weak with me in, in the other side. But yeah, we'll see how this works out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Sutronka, signing off.